Going out on a night stroll. Hopefully no one will mind. I said that I will deal with things in my way of doing. But I let Qmore escape that easily. What a shame. I don't know how I could explain this to Flynn. I know, I know. We have Guild's job to deal with rather than Qmore. Yeah, I just can't let him loose. Men of his kind will never learn, and will always repeat the same thing forever. I'll have to do something. I left the Empire and formed a guild for this kind of purpose. He will get what he deserves. Which is what Rago deserved, apparently. Alright, we're gonna talk to Estelle last. If I can find Judith... What does it make you talk to Judith last? Either way, if I can find Raven... Oh? Are you going to look for that Qmore guy by any chance? Nah, just going on a walk. Where were you? Just out for a walk like you. What you said to Estelle earlier hasn't been gnawing at you, has it? What I said earlier? Didn't you say some pretty harsh things to Estelle? Oh, right. Sorry to beat you to the punch like that. What? You didn't beat me to the punch on anything. You were going to tell her the same thing that I did, weren't you? What? You figured it out? You don't have to apologize for something like that. All right. So weren't you going off to look for Qmore after feeling bad about hurting Estelle with what you said? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? You care for other people's feelings a lot more than you let on, I think. No, not at all. Well, whatever. What about you? Aren't you going out to look for him? I told you already, I'm just going for a walk. <laughs> Judith is very mysterious. Where is Raven? Is he by the harbor? That sounds like the likely answer, because I looked around all this area and did not find him. There's the old man. Uh, I can't believe we have to travel with you. What? You ain't happy? Well, I'm not exactly jumping for joy. You're too glum. Lighten up. Didn't I stand together with you in the face of evil? That was only because you had to. I still haven't forgotten about what you did at Nor Harbor. You still remember that? Some people just don't know when to give up. I'm not about to make a list of all your offenses. Saying that I'd rather not have your company on our trip is already more than enough. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be on my best behavior. I behaved myself at Cave Mock and Gasparos, didn't I? Yeah, that sure would be nice. What should worry you more is whether or not these old bones will be able to keep up with you youngins for much longer. You plan on sticking with us until Estelle goes back to the castle? The Don ordered me to keep an eye on the girl. I ain't got much choice in the matter. Sounds like a tough job. I wonder if I could hand her over to the Imperial Knights somewhere. I can see it in your eyes, old man. You're thinking bad thoughts again. Nah, not at all. Well, it's really too bad that you're gonna be traveling with us. But might as well make the best of it. What do you mean, really too bad? Hmm. Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, Raven the Great is going back to the inn. Later, boy. Okay, then, old man. Let's hit up the inn, and I think we reunite with the team, I'm pretty sure. Or do I talk to Rapide? Or maybe I just go to my bed. Oh, I haven't talked to Estelle yet. What am I doing? Estelle is the one I haven't talked to. Hi, Estelle. I'm just incorrigible. Whenever something or someone catches my eye, I forget all about everything else. I really lose sight of everything I was planning on doing beforehand. Yep, that's about right. I came to my senses after Judith told me. 
Until now, I've been dragging the rest of you around with me like there's no tomorrow. Hey, it could be worse. If you were Empress, one word from you and the entire Empire would run off to do your bidding. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of feel like coming with you was the right choice. Oh, yeah? I've been able to see all sorts of new things. I still don't know whether I'm going to take the Imperial Throne, but there are still so many things left to learn about in this world. And Pharaoh's one of those things? It scares me to think about it, but... I have to know who I am. I have to know what he meant by saying I was the insipid poison of this... It sounds like you've made up your mind. Yuri? Hmm? I might end up trying to order you guys around again. Next time I do that, yell at me, would you? <laughs> sure. It's not the sort of personality trait that's easy to fix by yourself. Though there's another guy who's also a tough nut to crack. So I think we'll let him be the one we vent our frustration on. Flippy! He's talking about Raven, right? Well, I'm going back to the inn. I'll see you. Alright, back to the inn we go. We talk to everyone. Errol, Rita, Rapide, Judith, Estelle, Raven. That is everyone, so now we can go back. Do I have to talk to the innkeeper? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> That's how it works. Ready to go? What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. That sounds about right. So, first to the harbor and then find a boat? Huh? You mean... Are you coming too? Yeah. Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crane, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Mock the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Heliord. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. Fair point. Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. This means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy. Yeah, I... Um, you know, it's no big deal. Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? Ah, to be young again, I tell you. You got something you want to say? Whoa! Down, girl! To the harbor, then. Alright. Everyone's back in the party. Save the game really quick. And catch a boat. Or see if we can catch a boat, rather. successor to the Imperial Throne doing in a place like this. I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our Treaty of Friendship. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really not like the Empire. Yes. And now, prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the Friendship Treaty. The conditions the Dawn gave the Empire were for a Treaty of Equality, after all. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Yes. Had I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them. You didn't know about that thing? You're in line to be Emperor. I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. Well then, it's easy. Just become Emperor. Oh, you make it sound that simple. You mean... Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. Why not? To ascend to the throne, one must possess the Imperial treasure, Dane Nomos. But Dane Nomos went missing around the time of the Great War, ten years ago. Huh. So that's the real story why we still don't have an Emperor. And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on Dane Nomos. What was that, Yuri? Forget it. It's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an Imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like this? I was just on my way to Heliord. Huh. 
That is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so, too. Master Yoder, we should be off. If you'll please excuse me. <sighs> okay, then. That's her, all right. Well, why do you guys know her? We just met her once a while back. Is she a friend of yours? I wouldn't say I know her. She's the president of Fortune's Market, one of the five master guilds. In other words, she's one of the top dogs at the union. <laughs> hey, I just got an idea. What's up, Carol? Maybe she could get a boat for us to take across to Desier. It's a good plan. So we meet again, Kaufman. Three and one. The two barrier blastia of this city and Nor Harbor were originally a single blastia. Did you read that in one of your books back in the castle? Yes. Actually, there were three pieces. The last piece sunk in the sea between the two cities. I wonder if you could raise that blastia. And if you sold it, you could live like a king forever. The Empire would have already done it if they could. Any idiot could come up with that idea. You don't have to be mean about it. <laughs> yeah. That's a terrible plan. We sell, we sell, um, we sell barriers in Blastia. World goes downhill. Well, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell, you've come at just the right time. Huh, I guess those wanted posters really do work. Listen, I've got a job that would be just perfect for you. Hard labor, huh? I like a man who can cut to the chase. As you may have heard, schools of mermen often attack cargo ships at this time of year. Huh? But I thought there was another guild that always served as your escort. It seems the leader of the mercenary guild I hire passed away suddenly, so they aren't available. The other guardian guild simply has no backbone. I don't know what to do. What was the name of that guardian guild you mentioned? The Blood Alliance. Gee, I wonder what could have happened to them. You're all as guilty as I am. I hate to disappoint you, but we're in the middle of something right now, so see you around. Wait, Yuri, what about the boat? Hmm? Did you say boat? We've made a guild of our own. We're called Brave Vesperia. That's a wonderful name. Well then, shall we talk business? Mutual gain is one of the basics of all business, you know. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sorry, but like I said, we're in the middle of a job. We can't take on anything else right now. We won't call it business then. Let's just say we'll cooperate as two guilds helping each other out. That way we won't be going against any guild principles. There are various incentives for getting along with me, you know. Um, well... All right, we can talk, but we need to go to Nordopolica. We can't afford any detours. Fine with me. The mermen are only a problem in the waters near here. As long as I get to another port, I'm good. Once we arrive, I won't have any trouble making arrangements with another ship. Wow. She means business. Literally. So, do we have a deal? I have the sinking feeling we just got tricked into something. Fortune's Market isn't known as the best group of salesmen under the sun for nothing. This isn't so bad. Now we have a way to cross over to Desier. I'll even throw in a bonus for all of you. Bonus? What do you mean? If we arrive safely in Nordopolica, I'll give you the boat we used to get there. Really? The boat looks pretty beat up, but it's still a good deal. Right? So these mermen must be pretty tough customers if you're willing to part with a boat. I'll leave that to your imagination. I figured as much. Marvelous. We have a contract. Now that we've settled the details, I'd like you to get to work right away. The way I skipped that was such a Sonic Adventure 2 cutscene thing. Just let me know when you've made your preparations. Oh, I'm ready right now. Yeah, I'm all set now. I am ready. 
Also, anything for a boat. This is the Fiertia. She'll be your ship as soon as you've escorted her to Nordopolica. And this man is Tokunaga of Gull's Song, a maritime guild affiliated with Fortune's Market. I'm Tokunaga. Very nice to meet you. He's only on board for this voyage, so next time be sure to hire your own pilot. We're not in a hurry, but these are important negotiations, so I really appreciate the help. What is the ship's cargo? That's confidential information. It's nothing we should be worried about, is it? Relax. We've got it covered. All right. Head towards Nordopolica. Go directly southwest from Torum Harbor, and you'll see the Desier Continent. Nordopolica is at the eastern edge. I hope you won't mind if I go over the Fiertia's controls for you. You can only disembark from the ship where you see a dock, a port, or a beach. You won't be able to get onto land where there are cliffs. Of course, the ship can't pass over rocks, but you'll also have to keep her out of the shallows around islands. You might be able to take her into some rivers if they're deep enough. However, if there's a bridge spanning the river, you won't be able to take her under. We wouldn't want to clip off our mast. And All right, that's yeah. About it. Pretty much like Symphonia. A lot better than Symphonia because we don't have to land at a bridge. We can land at beaches, which I don't know why Symphonia you can't land at beaches. <laughs> she said southwest, right? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> this is so bad. We just started out and we're already working with one of the five master guilds. This is good. Yeah, you're one step closer to making your dream a reality, Carol. Aren't you happy? You talking to the kid? He's over there mumbling about something. Merman. The first thing had to be Merman. Brave Vesperia has some bad luck. What's the president of Fortune's Market gonna think of us if we fail? This is bad. This is so bad. I don't think he's very happy. He's just being careful, that's all. That's not being careful. That's running and hiding. Oh, why are you so negative, Carol? <laughs> We're gonna be fine. Nice if we don't run into the merman, won't it? Hmm, that's pretty wishful thinking. You're quite the pessimist for your age, girly. I'm just a realist. Anyway, thanks for your help. Looks like we're gonna make it there on time. Yeah, Leviathan's Claw was going to beat us there if we hadn't found an escort for the ship. Leviathan's Claw, huh? That's a name I seem to be hearing a lot lately. Oh, they're the guild that's specializing in sales of Hopeland Blastia. Oh, that explains the situation in Heliord. Lately, they've been trying to steal our clients from us. If we weren't able to cross the sea, they would have swiped up another one of our major customers. Still, you can't help but wonder where those slime balls are getting their product from. Indeed. Hopeland Blastia isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to get one's hands on. You don't think the Empire is behind this? No, that couldn't be. It's mages that are supervising the Blastia distribution. Ah, oh, right on time. Everyone, be careful! Those are sharks. Uh, the world's spinning. I think I'm getting seasick. That shark is talking. Did that monster just say something? That voice sounds familiar. Well, well, aren't you a chatty monster? 